Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the text filter. Now, the text filter is a nice little add-in for your reports. What it does is it provides you a search box that allows you to filter all of the other visuals on your report by simply typing in a value. And so the example you're seeing on the right-hand side is actually a column chart on the bottom, just a regular old Power BI column chart on the bottom. And on the, the, on the top, you're seeing the text filter, which is just a text box that you can type in values. And based on what you type in there, it'll filter every item that you have inside of your report based on the field you provide. So if I told it, I told it I wanted to filter on first name in this scenario, and I typed in Will, well, it would return back Will, Willard, William, Willie, Willis, and Willow. So I'm getting quite a bit returned back just based on what I type into the search filter. You can also use the little eraser widget on the right-hand side to clear out what you've searched. And it's a really nice little plugin. It's a very simple one to show, so it'll probably be a quick module in this one. But this one is developed by Microsoft, so let's go ahead and walk you through how you can use the text filter in a set of your own reports. All right, so to show the text filter, we really need to build out several other visuals to be able to integrate with our report so that we can show how the text filter works. We're going to start by pulling in our data set, though. And so we're going to go up to the Get Data section here. And we're going to go to Excel because we're going to be using a spreadsheet here called All Product Sales. It's going to have all of our sales data in it as well. It's by product and subcategory and category. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up the All Product Sales spreadsheet or workbook. And then the spreadsheet that we're going to connect to is this one here simply called Sales. And inside of this one, we can see that we have the product, the subcategory, the category, the quantity sold, as well as the total sales. And I'm going to go ahead and load this into our data model. Now, once this loads into our data model, we can start to build out a few report visuals. And so what I might start off with is a simple column chart. And we'll bring this down here, maybe take it uh, about three quarters of the way across. And then what I'll do is we'll say that inside of our column chart, I want to see the total sales by product. So I'll select total sales and bring in the product. And you'll see that we have indeed a lot of different products here. So the idea here with the text filter is I want to be able to type in a value into the text filter and it automatically filter down, filter down this chart and also any other visuals I have on my report. All right, so we're also gonna bring in a table. We'll bring in a basic table here. I'll select the table, and I'll make the table take up a good portion of this part of the screen here. And in this table, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in, again, the category this time, the subcategory, the product, and let's also bring in the total sales. We could bring in quantity if we wanted to as well. I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and bring in quantity right there. All right, so we can see all these values displaying on our report. And it's quite a bit. There's a lot, of, a lot of scrolling I'd have to do to look at and find individual types of products. And this is actually not that large of a list. We could be dealing with a much larger list than this. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I want to be able to have some kind of a search box or a text filter so that I can type in a value for the product name and it return back just products that happen to fit that mold. So let's say we want to do that. So if I want to do that, we're going to use the text filter custom visual. And I can find the text filter custom visual by going up to the custom visual section here and selecting from store. Once I select from store, it'll bring me back the dialog box here where I can search through all the custom visuals and I'll type in text filter. And I should return back the one I'm interested in, which is the one on the top. So we'll select text filter here. And we'll add that to our custom visuals section or our visual section here on the right hand side. And then I can easily add this to my report by selecting the text filter. Now the way the text filter works is all you have to do is to provide to it the field that you wanna search. So if I want to search by product and every, every one of the other visuals in my report uh, accommodate that, then I would simply drop in the product field into the field list inside of the field well here. And so all I have to do now is I simply have to search or type in the name of the product that I want to search. So I could type in something like, uh, let's say, for example, bike, and it would return back all of the items that had the word bike in it. And surprisingly, there's actually not that many that had the word bike in it. However, if I clear that by hitting the little eraser, if I typed in something like road and hit enter, you can see I do have where it filters down all of the bikes to road bikes. And so I'm looking at all of the ones that have the word road in it. I could also do something like this. I can search for the word mountain if I'm interested in mountain bikes. And you can see not only does it return back mountain bikes, but it now returns back uh, the, anything that has the word mountain in it. So even ones that are accessories to mountain bikes. So mountain tires, for example, now show up, or mountain bottle cage. Anything that has to do with mountain biking is now returned back from that search. And so the text filter makes it very easy to return back and find things, and it's very simple to do. You'll find that there's actually not a lot that you can do. There's really nothing additional you can do in the format section here. 
and the format section. These are all properties that every single visual has, so nothing particularly fancy when it comes to the text filter, so nothing to change here. But it's a nice way to be able to search the values that you have within a report, especially if you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of rows and you want to just return back ones that are in a particular name. Or say, for example, I want to return back everyone that has the last name as me, say everyone that has the same last name as Knight, then I would search for the name in a data set that maybe has a list of people's names. And so it makes it very easy, and you, as you can see, it filters down everything else around it based on what's typed inside of the text filter. That's it, really it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this visual, and look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.